morning survival family i just want to jump right into this video today and that is end times are here The Bible warns us over and over again to be alert, to watch out, to um, keep our hearts turned towards him because the devil is like a lion and he is just stomping around and just seeking whoever he can devour. That's why it's so important with prepping to not forget your soul and to make sure that you are right with God and ready to meet your maker if something were to happen. And I, I mean, I shouldn't say if we're all going to pass away in our lifetime you know it's inevitable we will all um our clock will all run out at some point and that's it and so we need to make sure that i think that's the most actually important prep is to make sure that you are ready for that there was a statue that is put up in new york city and i'm gonna pop up a picture of it right now so as you can see it has really big wings um it has some sort of a beast like face um, kind of maybe like a lion or a bear, but it's definitely not one of the two animals. It's kind of a mix. So I would say it's a beast like face. Um, it's got this weird body and a long tail and all these weird just patterns. It's got these huge teeth on it. And what this statue is supposed to represent supposedly is peace. They gave the name the Statue of Peace and Security, and this, it was erected outside of the National, or I'm sorry, the United Nations building in New York City. If we go back thousands of years, the symbol for peace has always been a dove. In any religion, and any culture, if you look at it, it's been a dove. So... It's just interesting that this is the animal or the creature that they would pick to be at a very busy um, city in America. You know, one would argue that this is the gateway to America. A lot of other people from countries come into New York City. So just very, very interesting that this is the creature that they would pick to represent peace. All right, so I could just be pa being paranoid, but I want to point you to some scripture and why it kind of concerns me. So Daniel 7, 4 says the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Revelation 13, 2 says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. 1 Thessalonians 5, 3. For when they shall see peace, say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as trivial upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. It literally says like a lion, like a beast, it's just crazy to me. It's crazy. And it even, it even specifies down here as well, peace and safety. What is that statue called? Security and safety. You cannot look at the statue and see these scriptures and not see that there is a similarity at least to them. This is what Americans are welcoming into their home. This is what Americans are putting their hope into. This is what our government is saying we stand on. I am in no way making this video to scare you. In fact, I'm making this video to give you hope, to let you know that there is a Lord and Savior named Jesus Christ who came and he bled and he died for you and he took away the need to go to hell. He took away your sins because he loves you so much and he wants to give you another choice. A lot of people think when it comes to religion, you don't have a choice, but that's exactly what Jesus Christ came here to do. He didn't come to force you into something. He simply came to give you a way out because the fact of the matter is we were all born sinners. We, every single one of us has sinned and the wages of death or the wages of sin is death. The only way around that was because Jesus Christ came for us. I'm also not here to preach at you. I just want you to know that you don't have to fear end times. Um, there, like I said, Jesus is already one over the devil. Um, and he's coming back for us one day. And I want you to be there when he does. I want you to be ready when he is coming. So that's it for today's video, y'all. Um, let me know your opinion in the comment section about this statue um, and what your beliefs are on end times. I would love to hear it. I just like um, everyone to be respectful in the comments. I understand that not everyone has the same belief system as myself and I think we can all agree to disagree. I think the world has forgotten how to do that so please just be respectful of others opinions and make sure this video a big thumbs up and let me know that you like this content and I will keep it coming and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!